This is the Henry Road Bridge in Mercer County, Pennsylvania. In 2018, Brad Elder, the Mercer County Bridge Department engineer, saw a presentation on press brake tub girder bridges at the International Bridge Conference. The engineer had 34 structurally deficient bridges in his county, with many of them closed to traffic, and he was searching for replacement alternatives. This bridge, the Henry Road Bridge, was a 55-year-old rolled beam structure with a steel grating bridge deck. The bridge was closed for the past two years due to age and deterioration. However, the abutments were still in good shape and, and were, were to be used in the replacement project, but they did have a limit on their capacity to 20% excess compared to the current loading. The replacement superstructure was set up as a design build project using local counting funding. The press brake tub girder replacement was designed and fabricated by Construct and Valmont and Guy Nelson and uh, Jeff Simpkins are on the panelist list here in case we have any questions from Construct and Belmont. The precast concrete deck panels were built by Fattest Concrete Products, and then the bridge was erected by Jet Excavating. With replacement requirements established, Mercer County collected bids for the replacement bridge. There were two concrete and four steel alternative bids submitted, and that's kind of typical for this size bridge. But not until recently is the Construct Valmont team that submitted innovate, the innovative press brake tub girder alternatives. The bids range from $328,000 to $731,000, with the two press brake tub girders, both from Valmont, coming in as the least expensive. The selected Construct Valmont winning bid consisted of four galvanized steel press brake form tub girders topped with eight precast concrete deck panels with cast in place concrete curbs, steel guard railing, and an epoxy overlay. Although the last slide did not show the individual bids for all the bridge alternatives, the Mercer County engineer stated, we saved 30% by selecting the steel tub girders. So here are a few pictures of the press brake tub girder being fabricated. Standard size steel plate is bent in the tub form in a press brake. The tub, the tub internal stabilization components and shear studs are attached to the tub. The tub is galvanized in this case, but weathering steel tubs can also be used. And that results in a press brake tub girder ready for the next step. The construct Valmont system utilizes two methods of installation. Pre-deck modular units, they called the accelerated bridge construction method, and the field assembly method. The accelerated bridge construction method comprises fully assembled composite bridge units delivered to the site with the concrete deck already cast to the tub. The field assembly method delivers cambered, galvanized press brake form tub girders to the site separately from precast deck panels ready for site assembly and then stud pockets in the precast deck are grouted for composite action with the studs. For the Henry Road Bridge, the contractor chose the precast concrete panel field assembly method due to the site constraints and equipment lifting capacities. For both methods, there are concrete closure pores between deck units and the cast in place curbs. The 42 foot simple span Henry Road Bridge had a 40 degree skew with using the existing abutments. The field assembly fabricated cambered galvanized press brake tub girders were delivered to the site and set on the abutments. The tubs are relatively light and can be set with light construction equipment. The individual tubs are laterally stable and no cross frames are between the tubs are necessary. The precast deck panels were built in the fattest concrete production shop with epoxy coated rebar and shear stud pockets for the compos composite action with his tubs. Eight precast deck panels were delivered to the Henry Road Bridge site and installed on the press brake formed steel tub girders in just one day. Even though, though the bridge has a 40 degree skew, because of the quality control in the fabrication shop and the precaster shop, there were no issues for fit of the shear studs in the shear stud pockets. Over the next week, the shear stud pockets in the precast concrete deck panels were filled with high strength polymer concrete. During that same week, the transverse deck joints between the precast concrete deck panels were filled with high strength polymer concrete 
and the concrete curbs were cast with steel guide rails installed on top of the concrete curbs. The existing bridge was demolished on November 12, 2019. The press break girder bridge was opened in less than 30 days in mid-December. Although, although the project was not designated for accelerated bridge construction, the modular design of the press brake tub girder allows for quick installation. Steel modular bridges result in ease of erection with lighter equipment, faster erection times, and the modules will fit together well due to the quality of shop fabrication. This Henry Road bridge case study shows the economy and ease of erection for the press brake tub girder bridge. And to close out on a topic which we have not talked about much these last two weeks, in today's world, sustainability is important. Steel is North America's number one recycled material with over 90% of new steel coming from recycled materials. Steel is reusable like you saw uh, from Mark's story where removed girders can be repurposed on other bridges. And with modular bridges as Stor uh, Mark's story showed us, the entire bridge can be moved and repurposed to another bridge site. So that's the case study on the press brake tub girder.